Hello everyone, I'm Assassinator17 and this is showing how to make a um, flash trainer in Visual Basic 2008. Now the reason I chose 2008 is because one, this is a free version of Visual Basic and two, it's more up to date than Visual Basic 6 which is what a lot of videos on the internet use. Anyway, to start off, we're going to need to first make a reference make a make a reference to um, use Shockwave Flash, which is, you know, a Flash games format. The way we do this is we go, we go Project, Add Reference, then we click the COM one, the COM tab, then just hit S so you can scroll down all the way to Shockwave Flash, and there it is. Okay, and now if we scroll down on our toolbox, we should be able to find it. Ah, there it is. So I'm just going to put that in now. Just expand that a little so that it will fit the box and look okay. Yeah, that should do it. Um, now we're going to need our game that we're going to do. Now I have chosen this game here called Sniper. It's off miniclip.com, and um, you should know how to um, take games off websites if you've seen my other video, but. Anyway, first of all, we're going to need the URL, and you're also going to need to, you know, download the whole game again. So I will copy and paste this, and a lot of people are always asking questions about where to paste it into movie or movie data. Well, it always goes into movie, so we'll just paste that in there and hit enter, and then our game loads up. Now, once you've got your game in your um, application you're going to want to put some buttons in and a text box so just find a button here just put a quick button in and a text box and so what we're going to do with the button and the text box is is we're going to change whatever value you want in with the text box and hit the button to do it so now we've got a game and we've got all our layout um, we might as well start off on the flash decompiler now you can use any decompiler but I've got this SoFink SWF decompiler I think it costs but I can't remember anyway you go ahead and you load that up oh yeah you're gonna need that SWF file and what you need to do is you need to search around in your game and you need to look for the variables that are for you know life and the ones that control the scoring and stuff depending on what you want to change it's fairly simple to find it. Um, they're normally really obvious stuff, but you just look in action, main movie. That's if you're using this Sofink one. And then you look around, and you'll just see. Look, see, so we've got score there. That's a variable, and we've got where's life? There it is. In my experience, that it's, it, a variable's always got this, you know, underscore root in front of it. And then all you want to do is copy this life bit. Anyway, now that we know the variables, we can, we can now go back into Visual Basic and double click our button to put our code in. Now, what you want to type is call um, AX shockwave flash one. That's the name of um, this, the frame that's holding the shockwave flash thing in. And then dot set variable and bracket quote and then we'll do life the one we just saw and we're going to get that value from text box one dot text close bracket now now that we've got that we've got all that and um we'll just press play and get this working oh, i'm going to mute it as well because this game makes a horrible really annoying theme tune there we go and you can see here we've got our life up there 100 percent we just change that to 120 click the button and 120 it goes we can make this as high as we want let's make it 9999999 oh well it won't go out the box i guess anyway um you can even change it this is what you get when you mess around with um you know the flash trainers you can change it to numbers 
which is really strange. Look, I now have a life that's a percent, and see, look, it's just changed the number not available, and that's a really weird result. And also, you can cause your own death by hitting zero life, and oh no, I died. Anyway, this is a flash trainer. Yeah, these are just editing values in a flash flash files. I'm going to be making some more simple tutorials on Visual Basic 2008 soon, involving you know how to use all of this stuff and um, neat tricks you can do, etc. Um, yeah, that's just about it. I'll see you later.